Menstruation is a natural process that a woman will go through if they have not conceived. If pregnancy does not occur, the lining formed in the uterus to provide nutrients for the anticipated fetus is released in what is known as the menstruation process. Some women suffer a number of effects as a result of the menstrual cycle both before and during their periods. For other women, the periods may pass without a single side effect. The fact that some of the conditions related to menstrual periods are serious enough to warrant the attention of a doctor has led to research into what is collectively referred to as the premenstrual syndrome. However, this is also a matter some women will not prefer to discuss openly. This has forced many of them to look for non-professional sources like friends for remedies. My mom suggested I take mint, like I boil mint leaves in hot water and drink the water like hot. Then sometimes I, I use a hot water bottle, though me it doesn't help me because I feel the pain is like really too much. For some, like Maureen Lake, the premenstrual syndrome is a reality and a big challenge. Me in particular, I, 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 I first vomiting sometimes, especially the first day, then I will not want to eat anything then my stomach is going to, that's the, that's the cramps that people talk about and hear about. Then sometimes I may not actually stand because the pain is too much for me to bear. Then sometimes I'll sleep off because my back, like the waist area especially, is hurting. Lake has not gone to hospital for diagnosis of the effects, but relies on painkillers for relief. If I don't take painkillers, I feel like I am not going to be fine that day. However, she explains that some of her friends prefer to use fizzy drinks. I tried using it once. I didn't really see that difference, but a couple of friends of mine that I talk to, they will tell you about when you drink it, there's something the gas does. I don't know what the gas does. Dr. Joseph Mutiaba of LifeLink Hospital says this is not advisable. The risk factors which are noted are two. One is obesity, because it has been found that women who are three times, who are have a uh, body mass index, BMI of 30 and above, have at risk of getting premenstrual syndrome three times more than the, the ones who are not. Then the other risk is smoking, that women who are found smoking, smoking either smoking actively or passive smoking, are two times at risk of developing premenstrual syndrome than the women who are not. Dr. Mutiaba says whereas there is no conclusive study on the cause of premenstrual syndrome, preliminary studies done show that some foods can aggravate the severity of the problem. Avoid the following. Salt food, salt, caffeine, alcohol, chocolate, and other simple carbohydrates. He says this condition if not well managed, can result into a form of depression for some women. They are angry, have angry feelings for no reason, are feelings that are easily upset, uh, they have poor concentration on memory, feeling of low self-esteem and self-worth. They are violent, they have a violent feeling. Common symptoms of premenstrual syndrome include acne, tender breasts, bloating, feeling tired, irritability, diarrhea and mood changes and it affects many women in the reproductive age. Dr. Mutiaba says diagnosis is made by studying the affected woman's menstrual cycle for about four months and medication can be prescribed based on the results of these observations. There's use of drugs, some are painkillers, and some are hormone related. And uh, also some are antidepressants to kill that depression. But also there are so many other uh, physiotherapy actions we do. He, however, says the best treatment is a change of diet and exercising the body. Eating four to six times small meals per day kills the craving. And also foods to encourage them to eat are fruits, vegetables, milk, complex carbohydrates, and high fiber foods, and with also low fat meat. Global studies show that up to 80% of women report having some symptoms prior to and during menstruation. Walter Mwesije, NTV.
Thank you.